Hey there, YouTube and CJ Holmes here. All right, well, here we are on part 14 of the Titanic wreck build. Today we're going to be adding the superstructure walls on the port and starboard side. I'm going to add the D deck gangway door that's open and also portions of the bulwarks and the forward well deck. So here we go. Um, what we're doing this is the original model's um, plastic for the uh, uh, superstructure these enclose the promenade deck and go all the way back to uh, the aft end of the ship i have cut them down let me find the right ones here Okay, we've already added this portion. We're at the expansion joint, and now we're going after the expansion joint with this section. So that's going to be glued in there, and also we need to destroy this uh, portion here. On the port side, there are 13 doors or windows, rather, in the promenade deck that are still in existence, or were in 1985-86. And then after that, there's pretty much complete and utter destruction. So I'm going to apply heat to this aft section here and try to get something looking like uh, this here. So there we have on the port section these 13 windows, and then we have destruction going after that. Some remnants of the uh, of the windows. You can also see the, the uh, gangway door there that we're going to be adding. And also, kind of difficult to see on this picture, but uh, you can see the little bit of the bulwark that is remaining on the ship and I think there's another picture of it that shows it from the uh, starboard side if I can find it I can okay, cool so there you have that little wing remaining portion of the bulwark in Ken Marshall's painting he has the gangway door open on the starboard side, and I don't think that's correct. I believe that door remained closed <clears throat> and the uh, port side was open. I may be wrong, but I'm going to build the model with the uh, starboard side door closed. So anyway, here we are with this portion of the wall. I'm going to cut down this uh, flange, this wall here on the uh, belt sander so uh, I'll be right back see you on the other side all right cool um, I now have the uh, that raised portion of the walls uh, ground down I didn't uh, show the grinding of it only because it's loud it didn't take very long just a few seconds with each one so I'm going to be working with the uh, port side right now. Again, I have a little scribe there, a little mark where uh, we're going to be uh, destroying windows after this line. So I'll make my line here. And I think I have my 13 windows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to go over to the hot air gun and see if I can successfully uh, heat this thing. Oh, I'm turning on my hot air. Get the model out of the way so I don't destroy anything inadvertently. And I'm uh, starting to get some heat going. You can see it building up temperature. And let's see how we uh, 
do. So again, we're going to be going aft of the 13th window. And this is 13 windows aft of the expansion joint. Cool. You see that? I think you can. Getting lots of damage, lots of bending and warping. It's looking really good. You see that? Awesome. All right, so now we'll go back to the ship and let me turn off my hot air so I don't melt things all over the place. Let me bring this up, sorry. It's still a bit hot, but I think I can handle it here. And now I'm just gonna really twist this down because this is what we're going to be uh, going with. All right, I'm not crazy about that. So I need to do some more heating. Turn it back on. Okay, while well, it's still um, pliable, we'll really open that up. Now nope, it's broken off. That's fine. I think what I'm going to do is glue that in place and then work on this portion. But this looks all right here. I'm going to open it up some more. this by cutting out portions of the wall. So there's bits and pieces that I'm going to work with. Alright, cool. So let me glue that down. And then we'll start working aft of that. expansion joint. Come on. Oh, I almost had it exactly where I wanted it. Come on. I'm getting a lot of glue in my fingers here. <laughs> Look at that. My goodness, my fingers are stuck. Oh dear. Well, 
keep going. Why it's being so uncooperative today. I've test fit this a million times and it worked great, but I th think now we're in a decent position. Come on, stay down. My goodness, I got a lot of glue on my thumb there. Alrighty then. Now I think I'm just going to start gluing some of these ruined portions of the wall in place. I think you uh, might also notice that I primered uh, the uh, boat deck and contents since uh, the last video. Okay, I've got another piece of junk here that I can add. That's really kind of looking good. Not bad. Looks like I've ruined it, and that's a good thing. Awesome. Now, I think I'm going to take this part that's melted and I'm going to start chopping it up. I might want to make sure that that's down forward there, but we'll see how that's looking later. save all these bits and pieces. I'm going to cut off a little bit the trim it here. Shape it. Looks like that piece wants to break off. That's fine. I like that. see where I can fit something. fit that in there. It's good. So we have extreme damage to the uh, superstructure here. Cool. this a little bit. Very brittle. Okay, I'll leave that. That'll work. I might 
reinforce some of this with uh, baking soda. Come on, don't be silly. All right. Um, and then I'll think I'll put that final piece there. Awesome. I wonder if that works. Let me uh, take a look at uh, the shape of this angle. And uh, really, that doesn't look too bad. So there is this portion of damage. I may do some filling in here with uh, baking soda and uh, glue, but um, it's not necessary to work on that right now. We'll just let that glue set. And we'll uh, do the same basic thing on this side. Okay, now on this side, on the uh, starboard side, the um, real severe damage doesn't uh, start until 25 windows aft of the uh, expansion joint. So on the starboard side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Did I count? <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And I have the little uh, mark there. Okay. So everything after this is going to be destroyed. Oh, here we go. See that? still malleable. We'll go ahead and let that collapse down. And I think I will uh, destroy a little bit more of this here. Okay. So, let's heat it up. Okay, and very quickly mold it. I'm just going to curve it around.
And I think I'm gonna break that like that. Move those pieces. Awesome, I like that. So I'm gonna glue it down. will I get on my fingers? You think I would learn sometime how to how to do this more neatly. But anyway. Pretty good. Let me uh, tilt it this way. And now, I think I'm going to uh, keep these pieces. And uh, just glue them in interesting places. Okay. Not even sure if I'm going to save these in their entirety once I uh, get to uh, actually finishing and doing the detail. Some stuff may remain and some stuff may go. Sorry I keep hitting the thing. I'm working in tight quarters here. I'm trying to give you a close-up, too, of what I'm doing. cementing in very well so looks like it still has some some crazy glue to work with so we'll tape it down and for now that's the extent of my work on that superstructure. Look at it. I think it's looking pretty good. Now, I'm going to add three more pieces before I end this video. As I said, we're going to add the uh, gangway door here. Uh, you might notice that I filled in some areas here. I had put one single uh, window on this door and actually see that? There should be two windows on each door. So I've just drilled out in a little piece of plastic two windows. All right, cool. So now they're going to go um, over here. Let me turn off my heat gun because I don't need that anymore. My leg was getting warm. All right, cool. Let me find some tweezers. Test fit this in here. Okay, I'm going to put some glue.
awesome. So now there's an open gangway door. Look at that. Cool. And uh, I'll get around to uh, either drilling two holes here or painting two uh, windows. But anyway, you get the idea how that's going. Now, the last two parts. Uh, in a previous video, we had cut out the bulwark that went across the ship here in the uh, forward well deck. And uh, when the ship sank, uh, the bulwarks, I don't know whether these were just uh, loose fitting um, items or just the pressure of the um, ship uh, going down on the water, crashing in on it, uh, caused uh, two-thirds of each side to go. But I think it's uh, significant and interesting that on both sides, port and starboard, there are these little wings that remain on the uh, ship. They used to, when the ship was in good shape, stand upright along with the uh, remainder of the bulwark, but now they're just flop to the side directly in the middle and these are what they look like okay, these are about 14 millimeters by 4 millimeters with uh, some little stanchions three stanchions and then there's a, probably an, an opening that was f to allow water to wash off the uh, well deck off the ship so we're just going to glue those in place. And uh, let's see how we can do it here. That opening on each side goes aft. Far too much glue. But we'll, uh, we'll make it work. Okay, that's about in the middle. Do the same thing on the port side. Right in the middle. Yeah, great, stuck to my finger, of course. But I think I got him going there. So there you go. There are the two uh, bulwark wings on the ship. Okay, and there's the uh, gangway door and the half portion of the superstructure. Awesome. Cool. So in the next video, I'm going to start working on getting the mast installed. Working on getting it installed because in order to do it right, I'm going to need to add the detail of rusticles that go all along both sides of the mast. And uh, we'll go about uh, working out the technique for that. And I'll just show you very briefly on a piece of scrap plastic what I've done here. You see that? Focus. There you go. That's the start of some rusticles that's going to end up going all along the side of the mast. But we'll leave that uh, for later. It looks like I've hit this or something. I'll get that reinforced right now. But there you go. So uh, there's part 14. And uh, we'll see you uh, in our next video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, in the meantime, have a nice day.